This is downtown Elizabeth City, and if it has that small town feel, you're right. But not far from here is a small university that has a big impact. Tucked away in Pasquotank County, nearly hugging the Pasquotank River, sits an HBCU, rich with history and pride, Viking pride. Elizabeth City State University. The school founded in 1891 by North Carolina Representative Hugh Kale under House Bill 383, which would eventually establish the school as Elizabeth City State Colored Normal School, later officially becoming a college in 1939, bearing the name Elizabeth City State Teachers College. With the school's deep roots in education, ECSU continues to produce today's and tomorrow's leaders who look forward to pouring into the development of others. Southern biology, with a concentration in early childhood education, so I, I want to be a pediatrician. Joshua Cox is a long way from home, the Barbados native choosing ECSU for giving him the feeling that he was used to having some 1,900 miles away. I felt at home, it felt different. So I was like, this is the difference that I want to make. This is the difference I want to be around. And he's still adjusting. I would say everything's a challenge, but the school has became a great support system for family. ECSU is a family, so when I see a faculty and staff, they take care of you like, like you're one of their own children. And if you look close enough, Joshua Cox is royalty, serving as Mr. ECSU, alongside Diamond Rawlinson as Miss ECSU. This is definitely where I found my purpose, which is serving and which is helping others. So going to an HBCU was the best decision that I ever made. In 1961, long before students like Joshua and Diamond would arrive, the school received its accreditation from the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, and in 1969 would officially become Elizabeth City State University, a home away from home for so many. It all started at Elizabeth City State University. Like Tony, the first ever Mr. ECSU. Tony Lassen, class of 86, I majored in criminal justice at Elizabeth City State University. My father told me you have two choices, you go to military or you go to college. So I chose college. And the rest, as the story would have it, is history. The university was a whole new world. You know, I, you would have thought that I went to New York somewhere, but I was just in Elizabeth City. It made me a better person, it made me a man, and also taught me to be responsible in society. If it weren't for Elizabeth City State University, I don't think I would be the person that I am today because of the impact it had on my life. In 2014, enrollment began to drop and legislators on Jones Street crafted a bill that would essentially close the doors of the school, saying it was not as profitable, taking away an option for thousands of students looking to continue their education. The conversations around closure really got people um, uh, involved and more aware, especially from the standpoint of people living in the community around ECSU. Chancellor Dr. Carrie Dixon saying the school needed a turnaround. If we're really going to sustain this university, we're going to have to put the resources here. We're going to have to do the put the leadership here. We're going to have to make tough decisions, change the culture, because Northeastern North Carolina needs ECSU to thrive. To be honest with you, you get angry. You get upset, you get disappointed, and you get frustrated. They didn't understand the economic impact that Elizabeth City State had in that area. If they had shut down Elizabeth City, it would probably destroy a lot of family. You gotta take your mask off, put the gloves on, and you gotta let them know you can't do that because that university changed our lives. So we all got together and we stood and we fought. And we went to the legislation and we gave them facts about the university. Nevertheless, the school continues to soar, literally, with its signature aviation program, taking students and training them to be pilots to take flight at nearby Elizabeth City Regional Airport. We went from two airplanes when I started to now owning 12 airplanes. The phone is ringing off the hook. We're the only four-year aviation program in the whole state of North Carolina, private, public, anything. Brenna Daniel is a graduate of the school's aviation program, using her time teaching current students in the interest of earning her own license. I was like, I have to come here. Right now we have around 90 students on flying roster. That's, that's a lot of students flying in an airport like this. Which happens to be on the base of U.S. Coast Guard Air Station Elizabeth City. You have to be very passionate to get into aviation. I mean, that's something that we have found common in all the students that come here to do aviation program. And we want to make sure that that, that passion is maintained. And next to passion, above all else, 
is Viking Pride. Viking Pride. Viking Pride. Viking Pride. Pride. And it runs deep. It's just family, man. We make you feel at home. We have a lot to be proud of, and we want people to know our story and know that we're here. You will only get it at Little City State University, and you will only get it at HBCU, and that's reality. Yeah, that's what we do.